New at 10, State Senator Lena Taylor is critical of what happened to her son after he was questioned by Milwaukee police. Shannon Sims live on Capitol Drive with more on this story. Shannon. Steve, the incident happened right here, less than a block away from Senator Taylor's home. She says that her son is traumatized, and what's heartbreaking for her as a mother is that her son told her as he was sitting in a squad car, he was hoping she would look out the window and come and help him. Senator Lena Taylor grew up on 15th and Capitol. It's a north side neighborhood. She felt comfortable raising her son and allowing him to run across the street to deliver a gift to a neighbor. He was going to the house right over one to drop off the turkey. But what happened next was not what she or her 16 year old expected. Two police officers stopped and questioned Isaiah. That the camera comes on, um, my son is sitting at the vehicle and the officer at some points decides to lock my son in the vehicle and he is not free to go. And that is equivalent to detaining arrest. MPD says it was working a targeted robbery enforcement at the time Isaiah was seen running across Capitol and 16th. Since November 1st, MPD reports there have been 31 robberies in the area. This is larger than just Isaiah Taylor. There are hundreds, thousands of people who have had the experience. Senator Taylor knows the daily challenges MPD faces. She believes what happened to her son could have been handled differently. I want the police to do the work that they need to do. There is no question about that. I want them to have the tools. It's why I fight. However, I want them to remember who they are protecting and serving. Now, we did reach out to the police department for clarification. We did not hear back from them, but yesterday they did respond and say that the stop was lawful. Senator Taylor says she will make a complaint to the Fire and Police Commission, and she hopes that this opens up a dialogue to have better communication with, again, how officers approach and how they also deal with the new body cameras. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. All right, Shannon, thanks.